Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, honored to be here this morning to speak to you. My name is Will Sexer. I'm a retired New York City sergeant. On September 11th, 2001, I joined millions of Americans across the nation observing the worst and most horrific attack on American soil. I watched as the buildings came down and I went from being one of millions of people to one of 3,000 as I watched my son die, as I watched him being cold-bloodedly murdered. If I had to say something about my son, I could say it in three words. The perfect son. At 31 years of age, he was vice president of operations for Cantor Fitzgerald, the largest bond brokerage firm in the world. Who knows where he would be today. And yet, here we are five years later and our elected officials are footsing around doing some kind of dance rather than protecting the soil and our country. <laughs> Most recently, the president signed a bill to allow a fence to be erected on one-third of the border between us and Mexico. That is not good enough. Building it on one-third of the border only means that the illegals will move down one-third further to come into this country by the thousands. And we already know, as stated by immigration authorities and border patrol officers, that we have not only Mexicans, we have people of Arab descent. Now, that kind of sends a cold shiver through my spine because those are the individuals that killed my son. They're also responsible for numerous other terrorist attacks. How is it possible that we have elected officials who want to provide these illegal aliens with some type of hope, some type of assistance. In New York, we have a law in the books called criminal facilitation. It means that you help someone commit a, cr a crime. When people come across this border illegally, they've committed a crime. When you help them, then you've committed a crime, as far as I'm concerned. And I am outraged, outraged that no legal action has been taken against these individuals. That is why we need Jan up there in Washington. We need a person who fully understands the danger that this represents to the United States. We have to have someone who's going to stand up and put an end to this massive attack by illegal immigrants. We need Jan in Washington. And we ask you to please not only vote for Jan, but do your best to contact your friends, your relatives, and everyone you can think of to help support Jan. Thank you very much. Thank you both for your, your kind words of support. And um, let me ask if we have any questions, starting with our media representative. Uh, if you have any questions, and otherwise we'll take questions from the audience. We're, we're going to have to move out away from the fire truck. Like in like two minutes. All right. So we have two minutes. We can edge to the edge to the right and let the fire truck back in. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll take questions from anybody. Yeah, anyone have any questions for any of us? Anyone have any questions for any of us? 